fuck is up my britches if you are new here hello my name is Brittany and today's video i'm going to be sharing with you five brands that i think you should try in 2021 2020 was a year for me i tried so many new brands this year it was crazy but i feel like i have really found my ride or die brands like brands that i'm always paying attention to if they launch something new i jump all over it and i wanted to share those with you guys so my first brand is going to be lunar beauty and i have been such a lunar beauty fan ever since the strawberry dream palette launched but what really made me fall in love with lunar beauty was the moonspell palette you guys have heard me talk countless amounts of time about this palette because this is my number one palette in my entire collection. I think that Lunar Beauty hits every single mark that I look for when I'm judging a brand. Formula, consistency, customer service, shipping, all those things go into my brain as soon as I'm like trying out a brand for the first time. And I've been blown away every single time from Lunar Beauty. Every time that they launch something, I buy the whole collection except for the most recent one. I didn't get the brushes, but I love all of his products. But I do think that the standout with Lunar Beauty is the eyeshadow palettes. I love his formula. I think they look even more beautiful on the eyes than they do if you swatch them. But his lip products are incredible. The only downfall about Lunar Beauty though is the restock. As far as like if you want like his Moon Prism powders, good luck finding them in stock because they're always sold out. And even the liquid lipsticks, the lip glosses, it's almost like once they sell out, they're actually gone. So that's the only downfall. But if he launches something else, he is in Manny MUA. He's the owner of Lunar Beauty. Any of these palettes though, I have been loving them. I just think they're incredible. And I love just the aesthetic and the vibe that he has with his, like especially like the moon, the packaging, everything is just so well thought out. And I think he really does nail it. It's a brand that I strongly recommend. And it's a brand that I get hyped about like if i see he's launching something i'm so excited he's been teasing oh my gosh how long was he teasing the eternal eclipse palette and i was counting down the days i'm like when's it launching when's it coming highly recommend lunar beauty i've been so ecstatic about my entire experience with his brand so highly recommend checking out lunar beauty in 2021 my next brand is going to be makeup geek i'm a big fan of makeup geek eyeshadows especially but i know that they have a lot coming in 2021 i don't feel makeup geek gets nearly as much hype as they used to like back in the day you could not watch a video without hearing something about makeup geek i own both of the matrix palettes i owned like the whole showstopper lip collection at one point oh my god i've owned so much makeup geek but when they came back for the rebrand, I'm like, okay, now I wanna see what else is coming. So I'm pretty sure they have brushes coming, concealers, like they've got a lot of stuff in the works. I think COVID just kind of really threw things off, but this is another brand for me. I'm like, every time that I see they're coming out with something, I'm hyped, I'm ready for it. And I cannot wait to see what else Marlena has coming out. But my favorite thing that they've launched are the eyeshadows, especially this neutral palette. You guys have actually seen it recently in another video of my ranking my neutral palettes this was my number one neutral palette i absolutely love it so makeup geek i don't feel like they get nearly as much love anymore i'm still a makeup geek bitch i love their stuff the next brand i want to recommend you guys look out for next year is sydney gray so i have the tiny marvels with mel thompson and i also have the enduring love which i just picked up during the restock but these palettes guys i think are incredible like some of the best formula eyeshadows that i've ever used the mattes are so insanely easy to work with. They're actually very reminiscent to Makeup Geek, but the metallics are so blinding. But the Tiny Marvels with Mel Thompson, this palette was nuts. And I did see recently that they're going to be doing a collaboration with Temptalia. So excited for that. I can't wait to see what else this brand does. They are an indie brand, but they're nailing it, like crushing it. They've done multi-chrome eyeshadows before. And then I was sent like a slew of their cream shadows as well. And these are fantastic. Like I feel like everything that I've tried from Sydney Grace is wonderful. I do hope to see some sort of improvement with their website to make it a little bit more ideal for navigation because they do have a ton of single shadows. And I think if they just had more of like create your custom palette sort of a thing, or I think if they just improve their overall website a little bit more, it'd be even better. But as far as like shipping, customer service, quality of the products, everything has been insanely amazing. Like I'm so happy. I did have a harder time getting the Enduring Love. I had to wait for like three or four restocks, but this is another thing that I love that they do. 
they create palettes like the Enduring Love. They did a light version and a deep version. That's the first time I've ever seen a brand do that to at least show initiative to be more inclusive. I think that's wonderful. This, I did pick up the deep version, but it was one of those things I'm like, why are other brands doing this? I don't understand, but Sydney Grace really did wow me this year. So I highly recommend check out Sydney Grace in 2021. The next brand I want to recommend to you was a new brand for me this year, but they wowed me like between customer service, quality of the products, price point, everything. And that's Propa Beauty. I did a dedicated lip swatch video to these lipsticks and they're incredible. And they're like 12 bucks. So, so insanely affordable, like drugstore price point, black owned, woman owned, and very, very inclusive. Like they designed their lipsticks to be ideal for deeper complexions, which I thought was incredible. This is a brand I'm like, okay, they only have lipsticks, but for everything that I experienced with them, and I know they have new products coming out in 2021, this is a brand look out for, because again, they came out guns blazing with these lipsticks, and these were my favorite lipsticks of 2020. I don't understand myself with this one, because I feel like you guys always see me talk about these products, and I'm usually very critical about the price point with the packaging, but I do highly recommend Scott Barnes Cosmetics. This blush palette has been one of my favorite products of 2020. It looks like a basic ass color story, but this is truly so unique for my collection, and I find myself reaching for it all the time. I have his lip liners, his liquid lipstick, his lip glosses, his lashes, two eyeshadow palettes. Like I have a lot from his brand and I keep coming back for more. So it's like, okay, I complain about his price point, but everything else is so good. As far as like his packaging isn't crappy. It's just not a reflection of like a luxury price point, if that makes sense. So I will say if you've been eyeing Scott Barnes, his products are worth a discounted price. I don't necessarily think I would pay full price for his stuff if I wasn't a content creator, which I don't think I would pay full price for really anything if I wasn't a content creator. But if you could find his stuff on sale, like I know he's been doing flash sales very frequently. He just had 30% off for the holiday. If you could find his stuff on sale, it's 100% worth it. Cause I find myself having a hard time not reaching for his products. Cause on application, they look incredible. It's just when you see them, you touch them, you're like, is this really worth it? But like I said, I have a hard time not reaching for all the products that I have from him. So I have to say Scott Barnes is a brand that I would strongly recommend you check out in 2021. And then my last brand is a brand that was never even on my radar and that's Divina Cosmetics. Guys, this is a run, don't walk. If you have not tried Davina Cosmetics, like their eyeshadows, these were sent to me, but holy shit, especially their like special shades. I'm going to say special shades in a very loose quotation, but they have the types of shades that I feel like people lose their shit about. Like multi-chromes, yes, bitch. Their Star Chasers collection is incredible. I am floored with the quality of their shadows and at the price point that they're at for these types of quality shadows. Like look at these swatches, look at that reflection and the price point, the quality, like these feel like silk. They're so, so nice. Oh my gosh, guys, I cannot say enough great things about Davina. I know those were sent to me, but they're the type of brand though, Ever since I've tried these, I have a hard time not reaching for them. And they're the type of brand that everything that they launch, I will be all over it to get it as soon as possible because the quality is so, so good. And then this shade right here, Moonlit, are you kidding me? Like one of the best silvers in my entire collection. Look at that. Look at that. Look at it. Gorgina. Okay. I strongly, strongly, strongly recommend Davina Cosmetics. I'm pretty sure that they only have like highlighters and eyeshadows at this point, but I can't wait to see if they get into like complexion and stuff like that. But man, I was blown away. So blown away by Davina this year. So definitely keep your eyes peeled if you're looking for incredible eyeshadows for a fair price. So guys, I know that was short and sweet and to the point, but those are all brands that I strongly recommend. Check them out. I think their quality is incredible and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!